Good morning guys, uh, welcome back to my channel, Mark here again, and uh, if you're new to my channel, if you love cars and DIYs, please consider subscribing and check out my playlist. Alright, so today I'm going to show you on how to clean your idle air control valve. Uh, this is part of uh, our periodic maintenance. A few moments later. Alright, so idle air control uh, valve is basically this one. Uh, this is the sensor, the terminal. So first of all, we need to understand what's the function of the IAC valve or idle air control uh, valve. So the function of this one is basically it bypasses the uh, the butterfly of the uh, uh, your throttle body and it works hand in hand with the throttle, pushes, <clears throat> throttle positioning servo or sensor which is this one <clears throat> so what does it do it, what it does is it basically has a plunger inside uh, that opens and closes uh, depending on the uh, needs of your uh, engine uh, the ECU is the one um, providing uh, information on your idle air control valve together with the other sensors like the throttle positioning sensor making sure that um, the uh, engine doesn't have erratic RPM or idle or basically it doesn't stall. So uh, how do you know when uh, this one or the idle air control valve is uh, either faulty or uh, just dirty. So if this is uh, faulty or if this is dirty, uh, what it does is maybe it uh, has a uh, stock up uh, valve or servo. Um, it, it can't open freely so it cannot adjust the uh, amount of air coming in your intake. So what happens if that uh, if that occurs? Um, when that occurs, you'll have erratic RPM, and you'll also have um, stall problems. So your engine keeps on uh, stalling out. So those are the probable uh, uh, consequences if your idle air control valve is either dirty or um, uh, faulty. So today I'm going to show you on how you will clean this. All right. So for this one, all you need to have is a size 10 key wrench or a size 10 wrench, whichever is available. First thing that you want to do is remove the uh, terminal, and then there sh you should see two size 10. Uh, bolts uh, holding in your idle air control uh, valve. So remove one at a time. Just be careful not to drop the bolt inside your uh, engine bay. Okay, so it uh, easily came off once the two uh, bolts have been removed. And this is what it looks like. So you see some carbon buildup there, both sides. So that's, that's what we want to clean. And also look inside. So that part, it's, it's a bit clean because um, if you remember, I dismantled the, uh, the travel body in uh, one of the videos, so it's looking clean. So we just need to uh, clean the idle air control uh, valve. All right, so for us to clean the uh, idle air control valve, we just need to have a, a cotton bud, this one and a uh, carburetor cleaner. All right, 
shake the cleaner and then spray then using your uh, cotton swab just need to wipe the carbon deposit off like so So, <clears throat> as you can see, it's already looking clean. There's no carbon buildup. So at this point, what uh, we're just going to do is we're going to let it uh, air dry until no carb cleaner is uh, present. And also, be careful with the ceiling gasket, this one, not to tear that apart because our, um, basically the, the throttle of any vehicle is uh, vacuum sealed. So if there's any air, uh, unwanted air coming in, uh, that might cause backfire or mess up your sensors and your, basically your idle. So I'm just going to let it sit there and let's just wait. So while waiting, um, let's go ahead and spray a small amount of throttle cleaner even though um, as you can see it's really clean. just gonna get a, a, a towel and wipe that dry okay. And after wiping that dry, cover that up. And let's just wait for the uh, idle air control valve to dry up. All right, so good five minutes has passed. Um, I think it's time for us to uh, put back our idle air control valve and uh, test it out so my air control valve doesn't have any problems um i just made this uh tutorial um to help others All right, so this is the clean either idle air control valve. No carbon or whatsoever. Then
we just need to uh, put it back. And then place the knot one at a time. And by the way, when you're uh, cleaning your idle air control valve, um, just make sure uh not to go crazy on the cleaner um because you might uh damage the uh servo and the plunger inside your either idle air control uh valve so just a good spray just like uh what i did uh try to loosen up the um the dust and carbons inside um, and then use your cotton swab to basically remove all the um, the dirt um, inside your idle air control valve. And okay. And then last but not the least, and uh, before you connect your um, terminal just make sure that it's dry okay we don't want to short our either air control valve out okay and then we'll test it out all right so it uh just started i just started it i mean and uh when you're starting um the engine it might take about five seconds or so for that to start up um, because of the uh, or the carbon carb cleaner that uh, we use on the idle air control valve as well as the uh, on top of the throttle body. So don't panic when that happens. Just uh, uh, stick on stick or turn on the ignition key and wait for that to. Uh, or wait for the engine to power on and as you can see it's idling um, uh, the item is stable uh, no problems or whatsoever and that's how you clean your uh, idle air control valve <coughs> all right so that concludes our uh, DIY session for today and if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing and uh, please feel free to uh, check out uh, my playlist uh, if you have any questions we uh, go ahead and comment uh, on the comment section below again this is Mark uh, thank you so much and until our next DIY video